in terms of uh, managing and uh, do a integration seamless integration with the with the, with your data center uh, we we see these are the connectivity protocols uh, zigbee uh, mqtt and uh, modbus bluetooth and various uh, uh, you know uh, iot vt uh, these are the uh, larger protocol recognized by the iot standards and uh, we been part of a contorium of all this connectivity and iot uh, standards so this is a aws typical uh, use case which we have uh, implemented uh, this is a uh, th this is a use case where we have done it on the uh, 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 manufacturing industry where we have a, a sensors fitted in a, a rotatory motor and we wanted a measure the temperature of a sensor the sensor want to measure the temperature of the motor and also revolution i mean how many how much of a vibration it, it creates from the motor right so these level of uh, sensors if i have any kind of a fluctuation or if i could detect any anomaly that's been taken care by the aml which is the amazon machine learning platform so we we, we whenever we do have uh, any kind of uh, uh, uh vibration anomaly or even a temperature anomaly then that sets uh, automated email and that e email has been sent to the clients through a https and uh, this is where sorry this is where the rules on it uh, like uh, uh, iot rules sets on a aws platform which decides what is the threshold what is the sla i want to keep it right so, so we have a same sensor fit in a different motors and i want to alert the administrator one in a 15 minutes before the anomaly and one in a before one month of anomaly because the service motors requires a one month of a time for any engineers to come and address the particular motor so that level of a different sla we wanted to set with with a, with a revolving motor on it so that is where the you know overall mqtt logs and the iot rules plays a critical in terms of setting the sla uh, this gives you a overall picture and how the iot security because that's uh, one of the top uh, topic being discussed in a contorium where uh, you know they were discussing how we could strengthen our overall security from a iot standpoint so here here not only the immutable security and also we wanted to protect at a network level through a certificates we wanted to protect at the cloud uh, and also across the message wherever it, it flows so uh, there are three various ways software through the software and we wanted to make it in a hardware which is a immutable ha boot bootable device when i wanted to boot and that time itself it, it sends who's passing the command and through which it, it makes sure it has an appropriate certificate and then you know get booted and network has uh, authentication both authorization author, uh, authority level and authentication level we are uh, you know uh, managing it all right so this is a, one of the use case which which i talked about uh, it's been implemented on a manufacturing where uh, it's been a big data cloud era where we wanted to capture the rotatory machinery uh, uh, sensors which has been kept beyond it uh, the people we, we were looking at uh, in terms of uh, you know um, driverless uh, car which which creates a sensor and there were uh, uh, as like a, there is a automated rail system which is being kept in uh, uh, mines right so it want to without a collision it want to go and the sensors being fitted in the uh, drone of that and this is the overall uh, architecture where uh, these are the partners who involved and it's been running on a aws instance uh, with a dell powered edge and this is the overall data store management we have a metadata and a cloud era uh, distribution and on top of it we have a lot of uh, uh, r and python scripts which is running on in terms of bringing more of intelligence towards uh, uh, the census data all right so let's move on to the big data part of it so th these were uh, uh, 
the major uh, growth i mean uh, industry is looking at right so uh, uh, moreover 27% uh, of uh, successful implementation and there were lot of still planning and more than that uh, 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 you know we we uh, industry recognized there is a cost uh, growth and a cost saving both in the top line and the bottom line and there is a real value in implementing a big data but still there was a lot of hurdles uh, published by the itc uh, in 2020 we see uh, uh, almost uh, most of the organization would be looking at a big data as a potential use case in terms of making a value from the data uh, so but looking at the industry this is the overall heat map right so none of the industry would able to make the big data implementation successful because we talked about lot of things iot things are moving from uh, edge device to the cloud and how we are going to uh, get those data as a value uh, uh, to the business unless we are not achieving that we are not you know really succeeding what we are tend to do it and this is a real heat map where uh, idc has published and uh, these are the industry which they were experiencing uh, real heat and according to that uh, uh, where uh, there were still sorry there were still few more you know um, uh, data and the uh, format of a data has to be cleansed in a way it, it is required and that is where intel wanted to invest in some of the area i will talk about those tools um, real difficulty is uh, one of the skill and the other one is a performance other one third thing is uh, they couldn't be able to achieve what is required through the uh, predictive analytics platform and this is the evolution of uh, uh, the overall analytics platform ba platform and almost we see all the industries uh, almost in the um, crossing their advanced to operation analytics and uh, many industries are early adoption on the predictive analytics exclusively uh, uh, using their machine learning and the deep learning part of it and and now uh, towards it and there is a prescriptive analytics and cognitive analytics where we talk about more on a AI, AI and the you know Watson kind of a products this is a overall maturity curve so uh, this is another Intel uh, trusted analytics platform which gives uh, uh, both developers sysadmins and the data scientists to play in a single platform so which which we find like a lot of hurdles towards you know be, because when we implement the big data the major challenge is lot of component lot of ecosystem and we we couldn't really you know uh, point out or get a maximum benefit of all these ecosystem so that is where intel is focusing in in terms of bringing a best performance and also the best ecosystem tool into a single platform which is a trusted analytics platform where uh, we could it's a open source it's a open source and uh, uh, now we were almost 80 percent of this tap implementation has been done in aws and which has been an open source platform and it is very much collaborative with the cloud era and uh, includes everything which needs uh, uh, both uh, data scientists i mean you have a python and the uh, scala uh, and the data scientists uh, application also be available in a marketplace so uh, this is the whole infrastructure part of it and if you look at it, injection so this is the overall landscape when you look at it uh, how to manage the data right so this is the infrastructure which obviously aws supports and we seen 80 to 90 percent of uh, tap implementation happened through aws and data platform which is uh, hadoop hive or uh, uh, Hadoop or Spark and uh, whatever the data store which comes with uh, Cassandra, MangoDB. So we have a marketplace within this uh, TAP where we could able to enable it. You don't need to really, you know, uh, install. I have a 180 nodes of a data node and I have a master node. I don't need to configure each of the ecosystem like a Kafka or a gear pump. I don't need to install it. Rather than it is a marketplace where you can do a install and do a few clicks on the configuration. So that's a major strength on this. And H2O, uh, somebody work on a uh, data scientist, H2O and uh, IPython R are the you know very familiar tools which, which gives, a, uh, you don't need to really work on another uh, uh, tool in terms of bringing those codes migrating to your data center rather than it's a platform as a service. So you could enable all these tools within the platform. 
All right, so Hadoop, uh, in terms of the big data performance, right? So Intel provides the uh, XB uh, drivers. XB drivers is to reduce your network latency. You can go and search it. Uh, even these uh, tools has been available on the AWS marketplace, and you, even you can you know download and install. It's a open source. So by installing uh, XB Intel XB driver, it gives you uh, 30 uh, percentage of performance improvement comparing with without uh, uh, you know running your big data ecosystem without xb drivers so these are the just the drivers because mainly we see uh, uh, developers doesn't aware of it right what are the uh, accelerators what are the libraries which are available which is very much uh, uh, you know in line with the silicon libraries so that is where uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, it goes out, I mean the message goes out to the devel developer forum and ensure this benefit has been cascaded across the uh, industry. And this been a tested and the, the, even a test and tested and we have done a POC on it. It, it shows a performance with uh, uh, close about uh, thousand millions of uh, uh, raw item data set has been tested in the environment. And this is a 16 node cluster. And this is a eight node cluster which shows a performance with XB and without XB. Here are the difference on the bar chart. Right, uh, so this is a DPDK. Again, uh, this is set uh, right top of your VM uh, server. So which brings you more of uh, uh, libraries. DPDK is a, a data processing plane on a developer kit. So implement, you could see a performance Linux uh, Without an Intel DPDK, this this would be your uh, overall uh, core performance. And here the difference uh, in in terms of bringing a Intel DPDK. So where Intel heading on the uh, you know artificial intelligence? Where uh, so these are all typical uh, goodness of uh, Intel. If you look at a processor or Altera or even you know uh, Atom or Celeron, network and storage comes in a uh, part of it. And uh, we have built these are the typical uh, libraries, uh, Intel math kernel library. Uh, so if you want to use more of uh, uh, machine learning and deep learning, then you should be able to uh, consider uh, Intel MKL in terms of getting the performance. Probably I will talk about the benchmark which we have done it. And Intel DAL. Uh, again, when, when I have a big data ecosystem, I'm, I'm implementing and more of a, a data driven uh, architecture on, on my uh, application than Intel DAL. So, is, is bringing you a, a better performance and Intel distributed Python. There is a, uh, another version of uh, Python where Intel had worked on and they built uh, additional libraries to bring more performance on an Intel distributed Python. And these are the frameworks. Uh, uh, I, we talked about autonomous uh, driving, right? So more in, in terms of image recognition or NPL, natural language processing, we need more of uh, uh, frameworks like a ca uh, Cafe, Tiano, TensorFlow. So these are the uh, uh, couple of uh, you know uh, deep learning uh, framework where industry is early adopting. Uh, so Intel is closely working in, in terms of optimizing these framework to bring a better performance. If you look at it, uh, I will show some of the benchmark which we have made it in a, uh, Intel Kafka. And so here the uh, TAP and the deep learning SDK. There is a Intel uh, recently launched a deep learning SDK, which is very much coherent because uh, uh, we know what is the goodness in the silicon. So we wanted to uh, take that goodness to the uh, libraries as well. And the same thing goes to the SDK. So that is where the overall architecture, we wanted to build a better architecture in IA. And uh, that concludes the overall artificial intelligence, right? So some of the libraries I talked about, these are the real use case. Uh, so this is one of, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, when we, after implementing the Intel MKL, we could see a 35 uh, percent of a performance improvement. So you don't need to, I mean, worry about it. You just go and Google these libraries and install in your environment, right? That will obviously give you a performance and you could see the difference on the performance. And this is a DAL, Intel DAL. So we could see uh, uh, between the Spark native PCA and the Intel P 
dial PC. So we install a dial on top of it and there we could see the processing time gets reduced by 5 times, close to 5 times. And this is a, another use case where we use a Intel optimized cafe. It is a video, I mean a um, portal as like a YouTube which has been in a Lee, Lee cloud. Um, so where they wanted to really uh, sense a type of a video when they upload a video in the in the cloud itself. So while why I'm, why I'm uh, uploading a video, there is a millions of video which gets uploaded in a minute. So in that speed of a data, they wanted to calculate what kind of video they wanted to categorize it is it a you know education or is it a, a, a lecture or a, is it a something on a, a, a you know a entertainment so they want to categorize it so that's a automated categorization done and it's been used on a image processing with decoding a frame by frame so that's where the intel uh, optimized cafe plays a role and it, it's close about 30% uh, uh, on uh, on your performance being improved and uh, you can see AVX, I don't know, some, some of you would have been working in the AWS marketplace. AVX and VNN are the two key components in a Knight's Mill chipset where we could be able to bring more of a performance which is a two, close to 2x on a, a performance. I know, uh, I mean, uh, before any of you know all these libraries available within Intel? Okay. All right. So that's uh, uh, education we wanted to pass on to the developer forum. So you guys go on, you know, these were all available publicly, uh, no, nothing, even the use case are available publicly. You guys go on Google it and you can find it uh, uh, on this. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Actually, you, you, you have a environment, right? On top of it, you install an Intel optimized cafe, which is an open source, right? So install it, and then you do a difference because the, I have a 100 uh, MB of a video, right? So when I want to upload it, there is a machine learning algorithm sits on top of your application. While doing a uh, passing of your video, right? Uploading a video, there is a machine learning which detects your frames. What kind of a video, how it is works, so based on that, it, that processor creates a catalog for it. So they want, because they, they wanted to do it on a dynamically and you, they have an option, a user to select the category, but even though they want to check that, uh, because they don't want a legal, vi illegal videos to be get uploaded in the cloud. Is it by the Absolutely. So uh, you don't need to do anything, the same infrastructure, do e install the internet optimized cafe, you could see the performance which is a 30% higher than the normal infrastructure. And similarly for no, uh, other cases as well. Any question? Probably this would be exhaustive uh, uh, on a technicality per, uh, per se. Uh, if you guys have any you know, doubt, uh, you can reach out to AWS. Because what, what I ta talked about in this session, all were available in AWS. You guys go ahead and uh, you know, in a marketplace, you, you can install those. Obviously, it is a cloud provider, right? So they wanted to maintain the security and your, your video has to be scanned and ensure what kind of a category the video is. So I couldn't get it. I mean, a security in the sense, your uh, video. Yeah. Security in the sense, you, you, you think? Data sensitiveness you are talking about. Data security, because we are installing more applications. Yeah. Data security. Right. So, this will be the project will come from the customer and the asking for that. How about the data security? Some other applications using the using my data, how the application. Okay. This is nothing to do with the security level, where you are going to install a library which is going to talk to at a chip level. 
right. So security is meant on your application level. So if we want to check the vulnerability of the video, then it depends on the algorithm it has been written on top of it. You getting me? Any questions? I know it's tough after lunch, uh, uh, you know, uh, hearing as a guy from a silicon organization talking about more of uh, chipsets and you guys are a developer. I, I could understand that's where I, I wanted to uh, give a sense on uh, how you can, you know, take these and, and apply on your uh, real time application level. Hope uh, this would give some kind of insight towards, you know, big, da big data analytics and uh, what Intel is doing. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. If you guys have any questions. All right. Yeah. Okay. Any Q and A? I mean, uh, I think uh, any slides you guys want to go through. I mean, uh, any questions? Any interest area? Okay, so uh, for example, uh, DPDK, MKL, you can do a uh, uh, download from Intel software.intel.com. You download it, you can take it to your cloud environment, you can install there as like your RPM or any EXEs. Okay, so these drivers work even on non AWS servers.